Good morning, guys. Bob Murphy again. Um, just going back to a subject we touched on earlier, we're going to talk about buoyancy and the weight of water. Something I hadn't covered earlier is things that do not sink. We're going to have a look at those right now. Okay. So I'll put the uh, the title up here. Buoyancy again. Okay. I'll just quickly do one example of using the same mathematics as before of something that does not does not sink. Okay. We'll do it in salt water, slightly more difficult. Okay. We'll get our object. I'd always recommend that you draw these things when you're doing the calculations. I don't care if the thing is floating or sinking, it's going there. My drawing goes where I want it to go. Now, this particular object is 100 kilograms and displaces 150 liters and you remember that salt water is 1.03 kilograms per liter okay so let's let's uh, have a look at these numbers what's the question going to ask you i'm not sure the question could ask you to make this whole rigmarole neutral or it could ask you possibly to make it slightly negative to keep it on the floor. Now, we'll discuss that in a moment. Let's have a look at this one. This one here, I'm going to say, the question wants me to make the object 10 kilograms negatively buoyant. So it wants it to sink by 10 kilos. Okay, let's have a look at what it's doing right now. So you'd agree, if you looked at my buoyancy video, the 100 kilos is going down, and the 150 liters is going up. And as usual, we cannot resolve kilograms and liters. So we say, how many kilograms is this worth? So 150 liters times 1.03 kilograms for each litre. If you're going here, 150 times 1.03, 154.5, so that equals 154.5 kilograms. True to form, I'm going to take this number, I'm going to put it here where it's important. I'm going to take away that number. Now I need to resolve yet again these two numbers. Yeah. You can see quite plainly this one is winning. So this object is going to float away. How much would it float away by the difference between the two? Yeah. So I take 100 from 154.5. Don't need the calculator at this stage. The winning force is this one by 54.5 kilos. I can now strike through those numbers. I've done all my mathematics. Well, that's what's going up. Yeah. Now this all sounds very complicated, but stop. How am I going to stop this object from floating away? Yeah. The answer is I'm going to push it down. How much am I going to push it down? That much. So if I add, and because we are not scientists, Paddy often say disregard the displacement of lead, yeah, it's very, very small. That's not very scientific, but it's the way the question goes. If I add 54.5 kilos of lead to this setup, it will stop. Cool. But I don't want it to stop. I want it 10 kilos negative. So having added 54.5, it is then at zero, add another 10. So I need to add and to this object 64 point five kilograms and that will pin it to the floor uh, by 10 kilos maybe 10 kilos negative just a quick idea of how those questions work not very common but possible so it's worthwhile looking into it thank you